three minutes applied semiotic square mapping. Welcome to today's three minutes applied semiotic square. Today we're going to look into the attributes amateur and professional and the subject we're going to map on this, these attributes are photographer. So our S1, the first attribute is amateur and S2, we have written the opposite or a contrary word, professional. So as we know, according to the semiotic square, the diagonal S2 is minus S2, that is not professional. Likewise, S1 diagonal is minus S1, not amateur. Okay, now we filled with all the data, attributes data on the uh, semiotic square. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to map the subject photographer. So if I say amateur and not professional, what kind of photographer this person is? So what is coming to my mind is a bad photographer, okay? So if I say a professional, not a mentor, so what kind of a photographer are coming to your mind? Of course, a good photographer, isn't it? So likewise, if you see somebody who has got both of them, produce both qualities uh, come together in this particular person, what kind of photographer uh, you would consider him? you want to consider. So I'm considering a mediocre, mediocre photographer. If you have any other suggestion, please write down in the comment. I would love to read them. Let's go for the last one where the attributes are not professional, not amateur. So what can a photographer he would be? So one interesting thing coming to my mind, I would like to share that. And I want you guys also share your uh, view on this particular person in our comment box. So according to me, this photographer is basically source photographs from stock website, okay? You just select photograph from the stock website. So now you can see very clearly that how there are four types of photographers are basically we're able to map on this particular uh, semiotic square. And uh, that's it for today's uh, discussion. I'm going to discuss with you another set of subject and uh, another set of attributes mapped on the semiotic square in the following session. Thanks for listening.